We're gonna play football. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get here. Interesting that Texas won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. Interesting in the fact that they have that much confidence in their defense to hold down this man, Reggie Bush, and this SC offense. Now it's put up time. They kick it to him. Two yards, three yards deep in the end zone. He's coming. He gets to the 10. He gets to the 12. And down he goes. Brought down by Robert Killebrew. He can just kill it sometimes. Sometimes he outkicks the coverage. Texas will get good field position out of this one. The reception was made at about the 43. Fumble! Texas man let go. Trojans have it. The Trojans get the football. I mean, somebody leveled Ross, and then the ball squirted out. And USC covered it at the Texas 46-yard line. Got a picture. And Bush gets it. Bounces outside with it. Runs over one Texan and gets it all down for a first down. Kirkman comes back to help him. Liner drops the throw. Throws it down the sidelines. Kirkman. And he makes the catch at the Texas six-yard line. They're going to run it with White. And Lindale walks in. To the 20th comes the quarterback for the Longhorns. Is a big fella. Mitch Young, 6'5", 230 plus. A lot of swagger, but he's good. His individual numbers sewn here for this year tell you a lot. He's fighting at his size, but he gets loose and starts running around. He's 29 and 2 as a starter. And as an old defensive coach once said, he ain't got no handles, but he led the country in passing efficiency this year. Across the 40 to the 42 to the tight end, David Thomas. Hands the ball to York, and he didn't get it. Trojans tied him up and roll it back. Scott Ware was the first man to get it. Bush, little delay in the middle. And came flying through, and the shoe came off. As he tried to cut to the outside, but he's got another Trojan first down. Liner keeps it. They should have kept him in the backfield. He didn't make it. A moment with Todd Harris. That was a situation where Pete Carroll was going to try to draw them on sides. He came down the line the last second and started barking timeout. He wanted a timeout. Matt Leiter either didn't hear him or was given the option to go for it. But Pete wanted a timeout. He to draw them on sides. That was the plan. Matt had the opportunity, like at Notre Dame, and he went for it. He got away from him. And same kind of a play, except one this time keeps it. Tackle, tackle, tackle. That's the first down. He's a very fast player. Sometimes he goes deep. They drop it off. Got a little screen action set up for Bush. Oh, look out. Ball fumble. Texas has got it. He's trying to lateral the ball is what he was doing, Keith. He saw a teammate out to the side and flipped the ball out there, and Texas has got it. And he throws back across the field. Pass is completed to Ryan Carter. Carter will be inside the 30, down to the 27 before Pinker can, can bring it down. Drops back, takes off, up the middle. He's finally caught at the 15 yard line by Darnell Bing. Bing got it by locking his leg. Ball's loose. Texas is going to get it back. Looking around. Goes down the middle. And it is incomplete. He's been steady and he's worked on that leg. And he's got enough leg on this one. And it's good. Line it back. Let's it go. And it's in the corner. And it is intercepted and knocked away by Michael Griffin. He didn't pick it, I guess. There is indisputable video evidence that the pass was intercepted with a foot in the end zone. The first pass, first down, catch it. In the first half. Almost got it behind the line of scrimmage. But it is Jamal Charles, the speedster. Texas. 
Young's got it, gonna run it. Lost the ball. Pitched it out. He pitched it out. Touchdown, and Texas. Touchdown to Selvin Young. I don't know. It uh, looked it, like he might have been down, didn't it, Kate? Yeah, he did to me. Huh? Gonna get away Better with kick, it? Kick it quickly. I can't believe they're not reviewing this one. This is huge. Kick is good. No, kick is not good. Nope, missed Sorry. it wide right. Wide right. Kind of like last oh, night. And he hands it this time to Taylor. And Taylor's got the ball, got daylight, and touchdown, Texas. So the Longhorns have exploded in the last 10 minutes. And that close ball come loose like that. I thought he had it. That's true. He did. Well, he's got plenty of time. Throws the ball down inside the 40-yard line. They'll do a better about themselves, I'm sure. Liner's in trouble. Takes off. A lot of room. Now finally tracked down at about the 25 to get up in the air. And here you figure it's going to be low when he gets it from this distance, but he got it off. And he made it. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So at halftime, it is Texas 16 and USC 10. Time for our Nokia player comparison. Take a look at the two quarterbacks. You can see Vince Young. Only two incompletions in that first half. Matt Leinart struggling of late. Here's Todd. Pete, what do you need to fix at halftime? Well, we, we, we gave a couple opportunities away to him, you know, and we just have to do a much better job of that. We don't normally do those kinds of things. I don't know why Reg flipped that ball back. You know, we were in pretty good shape right there. Uh, that, that's the first thing. We got to slow him down. They had a little momentum going with the no huddle thing. Got to slow that thing down. Your quarterback, Matt Leinart, how is he? He's okay. He's okay. He got rocked a little bit, but he's all right. See you in the second half. Holly? I'm here with Matt Brown. Coach, in that midway point through the first half, your team seemed to pick up some momentum. What happened to get that momentum? Oh, Holly, it's a, a great ball game between two great football teams, and I think ours were trying a little too hard, and we really stunk the first part of it. We've settled down now, and what a ball game. Should what, be a great second half. What stunk? Well, we fumbled the ball twice, and, and then we laid it on the ground another time when we're going in to score, and uh, we had an opportunity or two on defense we didn't make. But it's a great football team, and we've got to protect the ball better in the second half. Straight back, gets it away, gets his first down as he throws to Brandon Hancock. Old man front to Texas, ball goes. Liner dropping back, throws down the middle. Jarrett's got it. And Dwayne Jarrett will take it down to about the 22 yard line. Ball is handed off to Lindale White. He shakes off the middle of the goes to the corner of the end zone, and finally got him. Michael Griffin got down around his feet and got him down just inside the five yard line. Right now, get it back to White, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown! So well, now USC with an opportunity if they can convert to take the lead again. Number three. This is Charles. Touch it back in traffic. Time to increase. A big play for Texas. Regents for it. Touchdown. Smart guy. Convince the pass for another first down. It goes to Fred Davis. First time Fred seen the ball tonight. Going to do it again. Down the middle of Jerry. Big play here, folks. Goes to White, runs up the middle, good. touchdown. That's 26 touchdowns of this season for Lindale White, and they now own that combination. No pressure. Ball thrown and good. Catch is made by David Thomas. the throw to take off. Look out! All the way to the 20-yard line before Pete Rivers can bring it down with help from Darnell B. Missed that one. Missed 
both of them to the right side. Lindale White inside the 30-yard line to the 26. He gets it, goes to the outside with it. Goes around the corner! Touchdown! I'm making sure that well, that's not it, it took a while to get those arms up. Ouch. Ball completed down the middle. That's one. It's inside. It's right down the middle, I thought. Leonard gets it away. Pass is complete to the fullback Kirkman. There's a penalty flag back. Leonard going for it. Jarrett. Touchdown. This is right down the line. Great penetration. Kelson in there. Huff in there. Down below. Brian Robinson with the play. It'd be a foot. Half the stadium's going to go crazy. The burn orange side did. Play. Black's coming again. They pick him up. He goes to the sideline. The pass is completed. But it is short for the first down. A flag comes in, Keith. I think it's going to be a late hit against SC. Be clear in the play. Incidental five-yard face pass to number 20 defense. The five-yard penalty results in a first down. Yep. Watch Darnell Bing right there with the left hand. That didn't look all that incidental to me. They get seven seconds back. Young going to run with it. Oh, he stepped right through a tight. They're going to lose. Thrown short on the beat. Man just wide open. Going to run it. Gets inside the 10 to the 9. All-time win streaks, of course. Oklahoma, 47. Washington at 39. Yale. Twice, 37, Toledo, 35, and Southern California, 34, with Miami and Penn State. Oh, that's 10, I guess, a rebound win. But Nobody wanted to play Yale back No, Mark Jeff will take that much. They beat Jeff. Come to the Trojan defense now to preserve the streak. Incomplete. That was a good defensive play on Lima Swede. Fourth and five. I kind of feel like Joe. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner.
said it ain't over till it's over but it certainly looks like the Texas Longhorns are going to walk out of here and they're walking out on the words of Mitch Young who said they were going to prove they were the best team in the country in this game and right now they're standing on it and this is a huge two point conversion to push the lead to three or two No chance. They're coming hard. Light it set to the head to Bush. Got a block. Goes down and out of bounds. Stopping the clock at eight seconds to play in a ball game. Light it. Runs away from the pressure. Now he's got to throw it. And throws it high. And out of bounds. And the game is over. Texas has defeated Southern California 41 to 38 to win the national championship of college football. This is win number 800 for the University of Texas Longhorn. Lived up all, to all the hype, all the build-up. Incredible effort by all these young men. Well, Vince Young, Dan, stepped beyond the pale. He's out there somewhere by himself. I tell you, Keith, nobody has ever had a game like that. We now want to hand out the most valuable player award trophies. We're going to start with the offensive player of the game. Is there any question that it is Vincent Young? Yeah, that's yours. Now, Vince, I know. We talked when you were in New York, and I know you were very disappointed not to walk off with the Heisman Trophy Award. I think you like that piece of crystal a little better, don't you? Oh, it's so beautiful. Hey, don't y'all think that's beautiful right there? That crystal is so beautiful. And it's coming home to Texas. It's coming home all the way to Austin, Texas, baby. Are you going to be back to try and make it two in a row? Got to work hard and get better, and we'll be back. Wherever we got to go, we'll be back, baby. All right, Vince, congratulations. You'll never see a more clutch performance than what he gave us tonight. I don't remember one, and we've seen some great ones. We, I mean, we've seen some of the greatest players in the history of the game. We've seen people take a team on their back and win, but I've never seen quite what we watched tonight before. It's just pure fun, too. That's what I like. Is it, he has fun doing it. His teammates rally around him. His coach lets him be himself, and Texas are national title players. First of all, it's the greatest performance the BCS title game's ever seen. They had, Texas has had to hear about it for so long, about USC being the best team maybe of all time. This is a team that was determined, and Vince Young was the leader coming out. 35 years, the state of Texas, with all of their great football, has been waiting to win a championship. Now they have it. And Matt Brown, the coach that they said couldn't win the big game, he has won the big one and completed a perfect season and stopped the USC from doing what no other team had done before, and that is a three-peat. Congratulations to the Texas Longhorns, and thanks for being with us all year long here on ABC.